to all the people who we did not see yesterday. How many people were here for the first panel yesterday? Oh, quite a few. So there's a few. Thank you. The few. There's a few of these here today. Thank you repeat your checks are in the mail. It's good. Thank you. Well, to you, we say welcome. Welcome. Um, How do we say that in French? Yeah, but bonjour. That starts in German. Guten Tag. Guten Tag. Guten Tag. Bienvenidos. Uh, anyway. Correct. <laughs> oh yeah, that's actually yeah, that's. If you don't know who we are, who you're are wondering you? why we're up here. Uh, who are you, Sam? I my name is Sam Vincent, and on My Little Pony I play the character of Flynn, one half of the Flynn Plan Brothers. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly the reason why, you see. The poor man's in the soul. He just has a chance to be what he needs to be. And let's do a little bit with tight cider. Fresh sweets, everybody, for a drink. More cider than you can drink in all your days of pain. I doubt that! <laughs> That's it. Oh. Wow. Somebody left their phone. Was that Tom? Oh. Okay. Hello? <laughs> hey man, we're kind of busy here. I know, I know. He wants to know if you guys are having a good time. Yeah, yeah they're having a good time. That's good. Okay. Oh. Is that on the phone? Um, who is this? I forgot to ask you. It's <laughs> <laughs> uh, a guy named Poets. <laughs> yeah. We're kind of busy right now doing a panel. Yeah, panel. Can't you see we're busy? <laughs> we'll call you back. Okay. Okay, bye, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> bye, <Doris. laughs> Turn this thing off. I'll do it. How do you get water on it? <laughs> is that his? Yes. Yeah, All right. I recognize that alarm. God bless. Yeah, I was like, wow, oh, that's a pretty, pretty interesting ringtone you got there. That's my alarm. Right I know. I can dance. I can dance. Maybe it wasn't used in I'm um, sorry, got uh, interrupted there, but uh, so yes, Flim and also the voice of Double D from uh, Ed and Nanny. Greetings, greetings, salutations. May I introduce uh, my good friend Ed over here? Why don't you introduce yourself? <laughs> I am so sorry. <laughs> it is very nice to meet all of you peeps and peepettes out there. Oh my. And who was here yesterday again? Okay, well, now raise your left hand. Oh, excellent. Well done. Okay. <laughs> who is here first today? Okay, from yesterday, welcome today, everybody. Okay. <laughs> yes, good. Excellent. Thank you for coming. Yes. Um, I got to play Ed for how many years did we do that? I don't know. A long time. <laughs> <laughs> Phenomenal, fantastic. I'd still be doing it at 85 if I could, but, you know, Ed would probably sound like, oh, Press the emergency button, Ned. Press the emergency button. I will, I will, I will reconstruct your body and make you into a cyborg. <laughs> you will live with me forever and ever, Ed. I love you as a robot. And serve my every whim. Oh, yeah, and my little pony. I, I get to play. God bless you all, because you know what? For me, just saying, like, thank you for saving my pie. You guys invited me to this, you know, convention. And, uh, so, God bless you and your pie. I love your pie. I love pie. Beautiful, warm, wonderful pie. Uh, I love you all. So it is. It's really good to be here. Um, it's like it's the first convention that Sam and I have actually done together. It's true. It's a long time ago. Wow. We've worked yeah. for many years together. But many, it's many the first years. First time we've had an opportunity yeah. to. And probably not uh, until yeah. a little again. Oh, you know. no romance. Nah. No. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> all he wants to do is keep like reconstructing me and making me into a cyborg or something. <laughs> Yeah. Well, I, to I told him yesterday I was very glad to be here, you know, doing yeah. this with him. And he got a little teary eyed and thing. Uh, it's, it's been a tough couple of days for Maddie. You know, he's.
struggling with his back a little bit because a lot of Ninja Turtles end up with back problems later. <laughs> Uh, you know, it's just, you know? Yeah, part of being a ninja yeah, turtle. Absolutely. But, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but you all look so lovely. Yes. That's yeah, awesome. Way to go, people. Way to dress up. Woo! Saturday morning, nice work. Yeah, you got your yeah. Saturday morning cartoons for real. It's awesome. <laughs> yeah, it's Saturday afternoon now. But, uh, you can sleep on on Saturday now, PBR everything now, so it's good. Like, it's good. Yeah. It's good. Yeah. So basically, for, for the people who missed yesterday, we were awesome. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that's probably the same problem. Probably you know? worry about how long yeah. we're Now you're back to more awesomeness. Oh. But there will be none. No, we are about to use all of it up. Yeah. It's going to be really boring. Yeah. See, no. even, even the littlest member of the, of the Brony Nation, she's leaving right now. See? Aww. She's upset. Aww. Aww. Let's just get the hands up, asking questions, we'll answer them, and that's how we'll proceed. It's going to be complete oh, and utter uh, chaos. So, I was wondering, what are the odds of you guys uh, returning on tomorrow? The odds? Yeah. Are you a betting oh, man? Oh, I see. You're a betting man? Oh, I see. Dead high, man. Dead high. Do you got a house? <laughs> <laughs> get the house, baby. Get the house. <laughs> Well, I think there's a good possibility. Yeah. I can't say yes or no, but I'm more of a positive person, you know? So I kind yeah. of... I'm never going to be on the show ever again! Yeah! Oh, come on, now fuck up, yeah. buddy. No, you're going to be on the show. Yeah, we're both... Yeah, yeah we're both... You feel, we feel good about it. Don't I, we? You know, it might come down to the fans. Like, if you guys keep, you know inundating them with, you know, like, we really want Flim and Flam back, we really want Soren back, and it might happen. Like, if you do, you know, that, like, your YouTube, it might go viral. And if that, yeah, it's great. <laughs> yeah. So. There you go. Yeah. All right, uh, one of my favorite episodes of Ed and Eddie was the Truth and Dare one, <gasps> where y'all had to switch characters. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I think we get some of that. Well, I can't, to be honest with you, do you remember specifically which people Did I turn into double D? Was I? Uh, Ed had to be... Ed was Ed. Ed was Ed. Ed was Ed. I was... Oh, man. That must be good. Yeah, it says Mother and Toast. Yeah. Good luck. And I'm like, hey, it's Shopbreaker. Yeah, yeah. By the way, were we up... I can't really see this in the thing. It was so long ago. Was, oh. was I sounding like double D trying to be like... You just yeah. sounded bad. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Probably hard to remember, but what do you think your favorite line from Ed, Ed and Eddie was that you had to say? <laughs> 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 I am a woodpecker. Hey. <laughs> I, someone just asked me that uh, at the autograph table, and yeah. my, I, I just remember there was like, I can't remember where Double D was like busy doing whatever he does. Like he was either, you know, beating his aunts or, you know, working on a very top secret project. And he's just kind of walking away. And all of a sudden, you can feel um, somebody. I probably was probably Ed. And he'd be like, hmm. You're invading my personal space now. <laughs> Please step away. <laughs> Thank you. That kind of stuff. When you just have these little lines, that are like, uh, Ed would be the hard way. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and I was always just you know little things where yeah. hey, are you walking in my house with your filthy shoes? <laughs> <laughs> and then you go, oh, 
please move over there. Uh -huh. Thank you. <laughs> and, and in that note, Sam would always be rearranging the recording studio. <laughs> all the time. All the, you know, because me and Eddie were... Oh, they would go and the strings would be everywhere. Oh, oh, oh that's that's so fancy things. Yeah, I was always cleaning up that. Yeah, I'd have like yogurt containers, <laughs> spit everything, you know, toilet paper rolls. <laughs> I can't tell you why, but you know. <laughs> no, I, I'd have to say, like, like same, same with, with uh, Sam. Because we got to play with those characters so much, even though we could never actually change the dialogue, just so you know. Like, that was probably the one show that, like, every single word and, like, we could practically, if we put in an extra breath, sometimes Danny would be like, oh, no, no, no. I just want, like, a, you know, oh, 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 oh. you know, <laughs> don't do an extra, oh, you know. Um, and so that was really cool to be able to work with him because it also allowed us to get really, really, I don't know, just really creative with what we were allowed to do. Um, and so, uh, you know, I mean, and thank God they wrote Ed the way that they did so that, you know, he'd be saying something on his diatribe and then I'd just come right out of left field with, you know, kick my feet, you know? <laughs> <laughs> or, you know, all the thousand other little Ed one-liners. I mean, like, I mean, come on, I mean, it, it would be like a butter toast. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the best, man. I'm so stoked. We have toast actually over at the stand as well. Just so <laughs> We have butter. But we have butter toast, yeah. <laughs> but I think my all time was for the the, uh, the Christmas special, where I literally destroyed, you know, Double D pulling him through the room when, you know, he was going close to my gravy cakes and, and milk for Santa, you know? Um, so that was like, I'm like, oh, I'm such a good boy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, you, you write this for me? Yes, yes, yes. yes. Um, this is a question for both of you. If you had a chance to be in the movie Equestria Girls, would you, and if you did, what role would you want to play in? Mm. Uh, first of all, I have not seen the movie yet. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. 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 That's a bad idea. No, it's not going to be honest. So, but uh, I know the concept. It is the characters as humans. Um, so, are you saying which one of the ponies be that became humans would we want to be, or just any character in general? Uh, I mean, it was more like uh, just what would you want to like? What would you want your character to be like? What, what would Flem be doing? What would Soren? Oh, be doing? I lived in high school, so like. Oh, high movie. school. Um, wow. I would probably be trying to set, Flynn and Flan would be setting up a bogus school dance where we would basically set up high ticket prices and tell everybody it's going to be the most glorious, fabulous dance you've ever been to. You must come and see it. Stay, you know, and people would like, they go through like, you know, they make this all step right through here and through the night, you know, and they get there and it's just like a parking lot and there's nothing going on. <laughs> <laughs> plan would just like take off with the money and tip the next high school. They wouldn't stay at the same high school, they'd move on. <laughs> and the next high school do the same scam over. That's what I think we'd do. Scamming. Fleming and Fleming. I think I would take the Wonderbolts to Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> we'd have this cool review show, right? And um, you know, on any given night, we'd get like big guests, like you know, like Cher would come in, or you know, <laughs> you know, we'd get Marky Mark to come in and do some stuff for us as well. You know? With the rest wow. of the fucking wow. yeah. 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 good. And then I think you know. Probably ultimately though, would open up a really awesome hot dog stand. You know? Do they sell pies? Exactly. They got a hot dog stand that's got like you know different pie flavors. Hot dog pie. I think it'd be pretty cool. It'd be good. It'd be good. I think you're great that toast. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sausage flavored pie. It's good. Yes, you and the front. I got a question for both of y'all. Matt, what's your favorite 
<laughs> it's a combination, okay, <laughs> of raspberry, boysenberry, um, tickleberry, salmonberry, blueberry, um, uh, every other berry that you can find on the face of the planet, and that's my favorite pie. <laughs> Mix them all together, oh, and a nice, like a bit of ice cream on top. Oh, it's brilliant. Yeah, Sam, uh, it's more like a comedy. Thank you for letting me be with you. Well, you're, you're so big and imposing, I had no choice. I mean, you know, uh, do the song with me. I was like, look at that, do the song with me. <laughs> Don't hurt me. Anytime, anytime. Yeah, no, it was fun. It was great. That was awesome, man. I was, do you think maybe you guys might be able to do like a bit of the, a bit of it? Like, what do you think? Do it. Yeah. Do you guys want to hear something? Yeah. I'll be flint. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh, you'll be flint. Except, I, okay, yeah, right, oh, okay. We're gonna do some of it, but then I'll be like, I'm gonna ask you to take over when I forget, so. This is actually the whole song. It's amazing. Who does it? Everyone who knows the whole song. Start this off. <laughs> <laughs> well, look what we got here, brother. Mine is the same in this town. Forty yeah. Smith, Dirty Coats, Drive Through the Non Drop Side, to be found. Yeah. Maybe they are not aware that there's really no need for this area to stare. Yeah. Ain't that the key that they need something to stand side short of the Well, we've got opportunity in this very community.
That's great. Wow. Awesome. I think you should have a free pass for next year. That's what I think. Yeah? That's it. I want to complain about that. Sweet. I think we need to talk to the powers that be. <laughs> All right, Brayburn, what's your wow. question, sir? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, you got a guitar. It's getting in trouble. So, if Ed, if Phil Lee became Flynn, and became Flynn, and Ed, Big Ed, became Soren, you think you do that? Okay, first of all, I have to say that Eddie would be Flynn, first of all, because. <laughs> Double D's nature is not to try and scam people. He's kind of dragged into it. And see, the thing is, Double D will be making the Super Speedy Side of Speedy 6000 while, you know, Flynn and Flynn are off trying to convince people to. Um, but if Flynn was, or Double D was Flynn, uh, well, it would be like this. We'll just make Flynn Eddie and, and, and say, no. Oh dear, Flam, I, I don't think this is a very good idea trying to scam the people of Pony Bowl into buying our cider. <laughs> Come on, don't do it! We can make a bunch of cider! Get out of these people! Come on, Sammy! To, to produce cider. Mm -hmm. Done. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Oh. Awesome. And if, uh, if Ed became Soren. Hey! <laughs> 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 oh, well, hi! It's my favorite thing in the world! Oh, double D, double D! You have to have some of this pie, it is so wonderful! And it's all gushing and ooing and gooey and woo! You know what I do? Wow. Hey, Brent! You saved my pie! Thank you! Uh, do you like chicken pie? <laughs> I do too. How about way in the back? <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah, I did, man. I did. Yeah, Ninja Turtles 3. That was me jumping around in the turtle Dude, you were in the, you were the voice in the series, yeah, no, no, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, there's the, then I was the voice of Raph in the, uh, what do you call it, the Fox Kids. Did, we did 44 episodes of that Turtles. The Next Mutation, yeah, yeah. Which actually, Sam's um, amazingly talented brother, Gabe, um, was actually inside the, the Raphael suit. He was, he was uh, oh, Leonardo. He was Leonardo. Oops, that's all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, oh. She's, yeah, go ahead. Uh, can you list all the characters you've played? And you have 10 seconds. <laughs> What, in my life? <laughs> sure. Do <laughs> it. <laughs> okay, here we go. We're gonna go quickly, quickly, quickly. You want to pull up IMDb, right? And just be able to check the drag, you know, the accuracy of this. I was just checking myself out yesterday, so I got it down, man. <laughs> I was like, wow, I did that. Oh, I didn't know that. <laughs> okay, I'll try and go in chronological order here from the deep recesses of my brain. <laughs> Whoa, smoking that. Um, let me see. Um, okay, so when you have a blank look in your face, it's because you're too young to remember, okay? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was AFC Blinky on Bucky O'Hare and the Toad Wars. Uh, I was on the show called Dino Babies. I played uh, Marshall the Baby on Dino Babies. I, oh God, I was on a show called Pocket Dragons. I played Specs. <laughs> I was on, um, um, okay, now I'm having to fast forward because I forget certain things. I was Martin Mystery on Martin Mystery. I played Billy on Martin Mystery. I was Baby Bug Staffy and Tweety on Baby Looney Tunes. 
he heard of the show. <laughs> and I think he heard of the show, Pat. Um, oh, I thought I saw some people out there that I the show. Um, I was Crypto the Super Dog on Crypto the Super Dog. Oh! Uh, I was Arrow Darkness on Stonehawks, and I was. I'm she. I'm Guy and she's out and she's out. Oh yeah. Uh, I'm currently uh, Russell the Hedgehog on a lot of levels pet shop. And, uh, um, I'm I'm on a show called Slug Terror right now. I uh, play Eli Shea on Slug Terror. But Matt and I are on uh, Pac-Man and the Ghostly Adventures. I play uh, Petraeus and President Spiros and Spiral. Yep. Uh, I don't know. It's it's all my brain can muster at the moment. But there's other things out there. How did he do? How did he do? That's all right. Did he, did he do? Oh, <laughs> oh. Okay. Yes, I was going to do that in there. Oh, wait, sorry, I didn't get to see the anime, I'm really sorry. Uh, I, was, I was Athens all on Gundam Seed, uh, Destiny, and I was Terry Arde on uh, Gundam Double O. And I was a Monster Ranch, I put hair on Monster Ranch back in the day. I was Julian and Yui on Card Captors, and uh, there's a lot of speaking going on up there. Say it again, Card Captors. And, and, uh, I would see the, the, the whiny, lazy um, demon on uh, um, Death Note. Uh, I, was, I was Ghost Cat on Ronald and Half. Yeah, I don't know. My brain started to freeze up. Yeah. It doesn't work really much, right? Eh? <laughs> yeah. Okay, we'll go on now. Beat that! Go for it! I played um, E.D., his name is Ed, okay, I know that, uh, and as Sam said, so, it's so funny, some of the ones that Sam was on, was like, I'm like, yep, me too, yep, me too, yep, me too, uh, but those me too's were, it, it all started with um, Kat Dinen, the Game Master, um, way back in the, yes, way back in the day, I was only 21, <laughs> Um, and then, now that was actually my very first cartoon. Um, then I, uh, let's see, Card Captors. And, <laughs> and, whoops, there we go. Kiro Bears, yeah. Sounds a little bit like Joe Pesci. Yeah, take a little Teddy, don't piss him off though. You know? <laughs> and, um, uh, oh my gosh, now I'm blanking. As well. That's really tough. Okay, uh, Dr. Bruce, I'm going to have an opportunity to help. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Wow. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, Soren, yeah, yeah, yeah. Play Soren. Um, Batman right now. Um, oh my gosh, what well, I was also in Dino Babies. I played Stanley. Yes. So you played you played Finn on Stormhawks. Um, I played Finn on Stormhawks, Chicka Cha, Brothers and Sisters. Um, I was Bob Kotsu in um, what you call it, you know. Inuyasha. Thank you, Inuyasha. I was Yo 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 Raphael in Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Um, yeah. Yes, Kira. Yes, Kira after, after Kira. Yeah, on those guys. Um, gosh, what else? Um, blanket. Sorry. Yeah, okay, oh, we got that. I'm going to have to check my ID page now. Oh, yeah, I did that too. Oh, yeah. This is, yeah. Was, and then, uh, then I'm doing a new one as well right now. Um, well, not only with Sam, um, but then uh, we, we actually have the, uh, the first recording on Monday. Uh, called Super Noobs as well, and then um, doing a new one um, called Kate and Min. That that'll be out next year. Okay. So, Looking yep. forward to it. It'll be great. <laughs> oh, you have you have you picked? I think it's yeah. I think so. Hello, Barry in the back there. Uh, yep. 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 Sorry. Oh, what species of pony? Oh. Wow, what options do I have? <laughs> wings, you can have wings and horn, or you can just be wings. Yes. 
that spits that sword, man. <laughs> Hi for everyone. Is that cool? Thank you for unleashing the pain. I'm definitely straight up here, Earth Pony. No wings, no horns. I, you know, I have nothing against wings and horns. I just, I'm wingless and hornless. That's all. I can do. You know. Uh, go ahead. Oh, okay. uh, I point right over. Oh, uh, right, uh, right there, right there. Uh, what was the cutie marks of Double D and Ed D? <laughs> Mine would be a protractor and a compass. That's what I mean. <laughs> it's like, oh, no, E equals MC squared. Maybe. <laughs> Something like that. Actually, a gold plated gravy dish would be really good. <laughs> I'm just saying. And, and, and uh, Eddie's would be the dollar sign. <laughs> How about right down front? What's it like uh, doing a voice for a show or something and then seeing it on the show? Kind of after you do it. I love it. <laughs> yeah, it's cool. You know, I mean, it's like what we're really continues to, to blow my mind is when I get the reactions like like that, you know, like when we're talking to you wonderful folks and, and seeing like, you know, of us just going, you know, just saying like, oh, I want chickens. You know, just like the reaction is just like, to me that's magic, man. And you know, to be able to be a, to, this is a double I just did one of the, to be able to be able to. Huh? <laughs> To be able to, huh? Um, is like, it, no, it's a, it's a real, it's a privilege, it's a gift. So you know, I, I like it. You know, except I mean, there was one one thing that I did. I did a, uh, an animated feature um, over in London, England, and I so was excited to you know see it and see how it all turned out. And for whatever reason, I listened to it the first time and I was just like, oh no, oh, it's so terrible. You know, I was like. Then I saw it the next time, I was like, it's actually pretty good. <laughs> One thing too about voice acting is that we've all, most of us had that experience when we, for, you know, sometimes we don't hear our voices recorded, we just, and we, we talk and talk, but then the first time we hear our voices recorded, we go, that's what I sound like. Well, you know, if you hear it on an answering machine or you hear it somewhere and you go, oh, that's my speaking voice, and you go, oh, that's kind of weird. Well, that's the normal reaction for most people, but we, you know, we get to that point and we go way beyond that. Like at that, our initial, like the first time I ever watched myself in a cartoon, I was so excited because I love, you know, everyone loves cartoons, and then you're actually in a cartoon, and kind of your mind gets blown a bit. Like, <laughs> I'm in a cartoon right now, <laughs> and you're watching. You go, That's my voice, and it's in a cartoon, and you're all like freaked out, and you can't believe it. And, and, and that's happened to me in, in the beginning of my career. And then it, it becomes, this is, this is what you do for a living. This is your job. This is, and it's not that the, the wonder of it uh, goes away. It's just that it's, it just becomes, this is, this is a natural thing. Where for most people, it's not a natural thing. I mean, it's the, the first time everybody has that realization when they're kids and go, well, wait a second, so you're telling me those, car those cartoons, those people aren't real. There's actually other human beings making the voices because we all identify so closely to the voice in the cartoon. Then you're like, okay, wait. Oh, so there's actually people making those voices. It's not those characters making those voices. Then you, so you have this other realization, and so it's like it's those things that you just. Now I'm, I'm used to it, and I love watching it. But in the beginning, I was just so excited. <laughs> I, I remember that my bowl of cereal. <laughs> We, we meet at each other's house at like 8.30 on Saturday morning. Dude, come on, the show's gonna start on Saturday. Come on, dude. Get on the way, man. I remember the first time seeing Ed, Ed and Eddie on TV. I must say, I was just like, oh my god, that was an Ed moment for me that I'll never forget. And then and my brother's looking at me, and he was, it was like he was like a kid, but he's like my older brother, and he's like, do you get paid? That? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, yes, I do. <laughs> So thanks everybody. And it's also sometimes you don't like actually be in a city somewhere and you're just sitting in a room and 
the show you're on, like edit and it would be on, and you're sitting there just going, I'm not gonna say that to me. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna just pretend nobody's in here, and I'm not gonna go. Put me on the show right now, you know? Just, just, just keep me here, Sue. It's okay. Anyway, the waiter comes by. How's your meal, sir? Really, really good. Why are you talking funny like that? Oh, no reason. No reason. Can I get the check, please? Sam got us upgraded on the flight over. He's just like, um, <clears throat> double D and uh, single D. If you'd like an upgrade, two seats, please. Uh, first class. It was awesome. I'm like, fuck the toast. I love you. How about over here? Yes, you, sir. Screen acting roles. Did you ever have any screen acting roles? Screen acting roles. Screen acting, Sarah? Well, Matt has a contract where he is not allowed to show his face. That's why he was a Ninja Turtle. Uh, yeah, no, we both, uh, if, if, actually, I'll, I'm going to promote you a little bit. Sure. Okay. Um, a great little part that uh, Maddie's got is in a Jackie Chan flick. Uh, has anybody seen that? Where he's, the, he's Jackie Chan's deputy? Yeah. And, and what's the name of the movie again? Uh, Shanghai Nights. Yeah. Shanghai Nights. Shanghai. Watch Shanghai Nights and Maddie Hills in the beginning playing the sheriff. Yep. It's basically, it's basically Ed as a deputy. Yeah, it kind of is. Yeah. <laughs> Which one of these, sir? <laughs> yeah, so yeah, we've done on, on camera stuff. I used to do more back in uh, back in the day, and then voice work just kind of took over. Uh, had fun, but I was on shows like uh, X Files and Millennium and uh, Outer Limits, and I was on a TV series, Lonesome Dog, the TV series that played the town doctor. And you were excellent in that. Oh, thank you. I thought you were an excellent doctor. Thank you very much. <laughs> like in my in myself, I went like, if I had to get an ailment fixed, I would want you to be my doctor. Yeah. But my line was, someone say, hey, doc, and they say, a doc is where you tie up a boat. I am a physician. So <laughs> yeah. he, was, he was a little snooty. He was a little snooty. Uh, so yeah, we've done on stream stuff. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. I got to die in a bathtub full of bloody water um, in, in X Files, which was awesome. The whole episode, I'm going, I'm, t I'm trying to tell Scully and Mulder, you guys, I know who did it. I know, you know, I played a Marine, and they're like, just don't bother me, son, you know, kind of thing, until then I was dead. And they went, oh, I think he was trying to tell us something. Now they believe. Okay, let's go with you in the middle, sir. You got two hands up. You're probably you're, you're like my doubts are killing me right now. Please just get to me. There you go. Yes, go for it. Uh, one of the many things that Ed and Eddie taught me to do was how to use a push mower. <laughs> oh really? <laughs> I, I always thought that that show instilled positive values in kids. <laughs> Taught them a work ethic. You know, a awesome. was, now was it was it Ed always pushing the mower, and was it always Eddie sitting in the pool lounging, yes. sipping something, and he's like, "Come on, model brow, keep, keep going." They probably put a chicken in front of it and said, "That's it. I want to get the chicken. That's right, son. Keep getting that chicken. Cut the grass. Cut the grass." <laughs> I like your wavy hand, it's really cool. Mm -hmm. uh, what's your favorite thing about the characters you play in What's the favorite thing? I love pie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, you know, and, and honestly, I think um, with, you know, doing, doing as, as little of it as I have, because, you know, I've just done a couple of episodes, um, but really, really seeing how well all the characters are flushed out and you know how you know every every it's it's just i don't know it's everything has just been done really really well so um yeah i'm just i like i just love being a part of it so if my one pie line can make you feel awesome then I, i'm stoked so thanks yeah uh, my um my favorite thing about the flint land brothers is the way they talk in the Scotty and I really had a fun doing the back and forth thing, which is like, <clears throat> that's right. You know what I'm thinking, brother? What's that, brother? I'm thinking these ponies need some sort of cider. That's right, brother. So there's this really vaudevillian kind of uh, pacing that goes back, and it's just one of those fun kind of throwbacks 
uh, characters that you know you don't get to see a lot anymore. So it was like fun to kind of like capture that essence of the back and forth kind of thing that you would see a lot on TV back in the days in the in the 50s and, and 60s with that kind of like comedy that was a back and forth. That was a lot of fun to try and capture. Yeah, yeah, that's what I enjoy. <laughs> Okay, and I'm a runner too, so you know I kind of I kind of identify with Soren, and I remember the producers saying that that was partly why they heard that I that I did like um, a big run around the continent. So they were like, well, duh, this guy's a shoe in to play Soren. So you know it's kind of neat to be able to take what I do in real life and put it into you know one of the Wonderbolts, dude. So cool. Sam, do you want to pick this one? Okay. okay. I'm gonna close my eyes. Okay. okay. That was so. Who are you picking? I don't know. I just went like that. Okay. Uh, uh, so, yeah, I don't know who you are, but yeah. Banana. Uh, Pikachu pony. Uh, I'm banana. Oh. <laughs> uh, you're a banana. Yeah. And then my question is, do you like bananas? <laughs> yeah, I like bananas. You see, I want to be honest. The thing is, I'm not. It's not. It's not. The, my, it's not my go-to fruit, and I'm very picky. Like. I, if it's too green, I'm not having it. If it's too mottled, I'm not having it. It's got to be the perfect shade of yellow. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Kind of like the way you are right now. You're, that, that's, a, that's, a, that's a right banana. That's good. Great. Yeah. So I'm. Yeah. You know what? Fry up those bananas oh. in a little uh, in a little brown sugar. You ever done that? Slice them up. Oh yeah. Put them in the pan. A little brown sugar. Caramelize them a bit. Mm, that's what I'm talking about right there. A little scoop of vanilla ice cream. That's it, right Banana there. Banana cream pie. It's a dream. <laughs> cool. oh, yeah. Don't forget the number one yeah. part. It's a good thing. It's good. Yeah. Salted caramel cream pie. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yep. uh, he, he, uh, sorry, the, the purple shirt man. Uh, that's kind of purple shirt man. <laughs> <laughs> well, mine's not really a, a question. It's more of a comment, but it's just, I, I know you guys probably get this a lot, but you know, hearing you guys list off your, you know, your repertoire of, of many voices that you've been able to do, and just recognizing that I grew up watching those shows, and even still in my young adult life watching those shows, and just getting you know, to meet you guys, actually just, it's phenomenal. Thank you so much for appearing at this convention. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Thank you for standing up and saying that, and it is, um, it's 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 it is a cool thing for us too because the more and more I do these, the more I realize that uh, cartoons uh, help people, you know, and uh, it's uh, it's it's pretty powerful when someone's really looking at you saying thank you and you know they mean it. They're not just like oh thanks. They're just like dude, you helped me get through some tough times in my life, and I go wow, that blows my my mind a bit when I hear that, so thank you for that. Yes. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, ditto, dude. That's, All right. Yeah. Um, I want to get, uh, some people have already asked, uh, asked a question. I don't want to sure people we haven't. Yes, you, go ahead. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, I'm just, oh, that was so good. Woo! Ah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, how long did it take you to memorize your parts of the Slim Slam song? Oh, well, it took me, oh, oh, wait, okay, first of all, let me be clear, okay. You saw me get most of the song right up here. Um, <laughs> thanks, I man. actually, during, yes, yeah, thanks, uh, Tate. Um, when we initially recorded the, the song, I didn't have to memorize anything. It was all in front of me like that, so I heard the, I heard the music I had and all that. So, and we actually didn't, in, when we record the songs on My Little Pony, we don't, we take it section by section. It's not like we start and then like, and, and go. It's like you gotta get the whole song right in one take. We take it section by section, because Daniel needs it to record it that way, because it's very precise, and we have to get every section put together correctly. So, but, that being said, uh, I, you know, I knew my parts, I didn't really know the whole song, and then when I did a, a convention in March, I think it was March, I decided that, okay, I gotta, I gotta learn the song. I mean, I can't go to a convention and people are gonna not even know the song, that's kind of lame. So I sat down, I watched, watched YouTube for, you know, watched it over and over and over, <laughs> sang, sang along, and I was like, you know 
I might as well get the whole song. So I started learning Granny's parts and all you know all the all the little parts of the, in the thing. And I and and finally I got it down, and that was awesome. And then I. I decided that I wanted to change it up, so I did it into a rap, which I performed, <laughs> which was fun. Maybe you want to practice that, too. Take it to the next level. Oh, yeah. oh okay, so this is what I was, I'm just giving you a sample, you can do this, okay? Wow. Yo, what we got, you brother of mine? It's a second time. I was with this girl, got to another couple of sides, took it down. Maybe they're not aware that's really no tear to spare. But the people can do this on satire, so you and I will share. So take this opportunity in this very community. He's still a fan, what do we do? He's still a fan, brother. He's still a fan. Okay, I'm going to come up here. Okay, I want to see if you can do it as well. Okay, here we go. Alright, let's do this. Oh. Okay, so we can go. What oh, we got here, brother of mine? Okay, go for it. Well, look what we got here, brother of mine. It's standing up for town. When he puts through to both dry tons and all drop beside her to be found. But even though I'm not aware of that, there is no need for to see a despair. But the king can be so the sad place for which you and I get shit. Good stuff. Yeah. 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 Find your, the quick way for being thrown at at the last second. That's good. <laughs> So yeah, anyway, so to answer your question, I took, took me a couple hours to sit down, learn it over and over and over again, by memorize, and uh, it's most of it's in there in my brain. It took me a week. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, that's good though, man. That's awesome. Uh, okay, okay, we're gonna do a wall person. Orange shirt wall person. <laughs> I love my names for people. Let's just go. You can use that if you want. Tall wall guy. <laughs> Tall wall. <laughs> oh. Um, uh, yeah. Sometimes it's tough because uh, depending on what shows you do, um, the, it, it can be a challenge, especially if there's a lot. Sometimes there's a lot of screaming in shows, and you gotta you gotta protect your voice. Yeah. Um, I sometimes what I do is I gargle in the morning with a little like honey warm water just to warm up the the, the old throat and keep it going. And, yeah. uh, and you also you when you do voice work, you do learn how to use your voice in such a way that you're not damaging it. It's kind of like <clears throat> most voice actors come up with techniques that where they can protect their voices when they're doing their voice work. But sometimes it's hard, especially when you're doing screaming, to try and, there are ways to scream without really hurting your throat, so, yeah. yeah. You mad? Yeah, you know what, same, you, know, you, you realize after, you know, sometimes it does take going hoarse from, like, I remember the first season of um, a show called uh, Shadow, what was it, I think it was called Shadow Warriors, oh, and it was an show. anime show. And holy smokes, I, like every single scene was like a fight scene, which lasted forever. And so I would leave the studio if after eight hours, and my voice would be bleeding, you know? It's just like, <laughs> so I had to get really smart really fast, um, you know, and, and learn ways to be able to protect the pipes, um, you know, and, um, you know, like doing Ed, Ed, and Eddie, it was, it was wild. Like some days when Ed was like, kind of like lying, um, not heavy, it was like a breeze for me, you know, because I'd just come in and be like, oh, 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 you know, I love chicken, honey, you know, whatever. But then, like, you know, you remember some of, like, the Halloween special? Yeah. And, like, you know, where Ed's, like, freaking out with the zombie, you know, the mutant mole monsters. And, you know, I was screaming, screaming, and a little more screaming. And, you know, I, I remember going home that night going, like, <laughs> ouch! <laughs> you know, so I just get really quiet and gargle and call Sam. <laughs> oh, what you doing? Lots of great. <laughs> you should like, I know you've been waiting for a while. Go ahead. Yeah, you. Yeah. Okay. Behind the banana man. Yes, behind the banana. Um, the last thing to end, with that being the movie finale, what was your initial reaction that the show was going to be ending? And also, what was your reaction that it was actually going to be a full length movie? Well, we knew that the movie was gonna be um, an epic kind of thing because Danny's so meticulous with everything he does and here we are gonna do something that's like almost like 80 minutes long or whatever the running time is. 
So we knew it was going to be a challenge. And the beginning of, I, I remember the beginning of the, the movie where it's just this frantic, frantic chasing where we're, we're like we're running for our dear lives and nobody knows why we're in such a manic state. And the show starts off at such an intense level. I just remember the first session was like really tough because it was like, oh my God, we gotta get out of here, we gotta get out of here. Like, go, go, go. So it was like this intense thing where like, oh, I remember that after that first session, I was like pretty drained. And when I heard that it, the show was ending, I was like, I kind of understood why it was ending because uh, basically I think, you know, I, I don't want to speak for Danny, but I think that he was really kind of tired at that point. Like he put done a lot of work into that show and it's exhausting doing the way he does animation and the way he wants it to be. It's an exhausting process for everyone. Yeah. And I think he was really burnt out probably a bit. And I, I, I know, I think Cartoon Network did, did want to do more. I just don't think that he had it in him at that point to do it. So, and also Tony, who plays Eddie, he was getting out of the business. He decided to change, total career change. And I think it would have been a big challenge to get him back to record new episodes. And you just, I, you can't, you can't change one of the lead guys like that. That's just, you can't and, do it. You know, not after like, I mean, because I, that's what Sam was saying, you know, that, that eight seasons and then the movies, that was essentially like 10 years, right? And then you think of all the years that Danny was developing that show beforehand was, you know, I'd say probably easily two full years, you know, um, you know when you got the, the green light to put this thing together. Um, you know, and so like Sam, I mean, because he definitely by far was probably the hardest worker on that whole thing. I mean, yeah, we came in and we, you know, we bled a few times and you know, bang our head against the wall a few times. But, you know, I gotta hand it to, to Danny. He's like, um, I, I've never seen anybody who's a creator of a show work harder on something to make sure that it's right, not only in the moment when we're recording, but then, you know, you know that if something wasn't right, he was gonna go home and, and probably not sleep until he got it fixed. You know what I mean? So, you know, let's just have a note to Danny. <laughs> Thank you, Danny, for making it. But I think we all knew it was over, you know? Um, okay, uh, I will get to people who have not had a chance to, I want to see you, sir, in the back on the wall, another wall person. You haven't asked a question, so go ahead, please. Um, do you know any well-known voice actors that are kind of in your well-known aisle? Do they all like We do not work in the same market at all, so... For, oh, maybe, I can't speak for Matt because Matt has worked down in Los Angeles. So I, I I work in Vancouver, and the majority of voice actors that I know uh, work out of Vancouver. We do the shows that come to Vancouver. So I I'm not on familiar terms with the the, the voice actors from LA. Um, I think we did, when we did Quantum Ray, uh, uh, Quantum Ray, which I don't think it ever even aired in the States, uh, Tom Kenny was uh, one of the characters in the show, but he was, he did his stuff separately, so. No, no, no to answer your question. I know the people that I work with in Vancouver. Yeah. So. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and I mean, the latest steps, I've, I've gotten to, I'm doing some stuff in the States. Um, and then uh, got to do some work over in the UK. So I got to work with actually a, a, an actor that I really, really admired, um, uh, who was uh, Sir John Hurt. Do you remember the movie Alien? Yes. Yeah. He was he was a little rickety at this point, but man, he was so man. They, they, you know, we go in the studio and he'd start working, and that guy is a pro. Uh, he got it done. It was, it was very cool to watch. Um, so yeah, no, I've had a, a couple, a couple of cool experiences like that. Anybody know the, the band Queen? Yeah. 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 Okay. This was, this was like me, like you know, meeting like my one of my heroes because I like I'm such a guy. Like my my side door, I would have been a rock singer star, okay, kind of thing. And Queen was one of my favorite bands. 
and when we went to the premiere of this movie in, in the UK called A Monkey's Tale, um, Brian May, who's the guitarist for Queen, um, taps me on the shoulder at the, at the premiere party because he was there with his daughter or whatever. And all of a sudden I get this tap, 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 and I, you know, I look over it, and then I look way, way <laughs> up in the sky because he's like the tallest guy on the planet with this big hair. Right? And I'm like, you're Brian May. <laughs> And he goes, yes, I am, yes. He goes, you were really good as calm. Nice job, man, nice job. And I'm just like, dude. <laughs> so I was like, that was one of my moments. I'm like, I'll never wash this shoulder again. <laughs> exactly, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, you have, have you asked a question yet? No, okay, go for it. Do y'all ever like, find yourselves outside of work doing the voices like I used to? Uh, never. <laughs> I can't believe I just did that. <laughs> Sometimes I do it just to make sure I can still do it. I'll be like, I'll be driving on. Can I still do double D? Like, yeah. Okay, he's still there. That's good. Good to know. Um, or sometimes I will, I will be actually cleaning up my house and for fun, I'm like, I'm like, oh, messy, messy, messy. <laughs> <laughs> this guy, yes, I know. Um, yes. Sure. Um, have you ever, like, met someone who doesn't know who you are and, like, do the voice and they're like, oh my god, that sounds just like, insert the character. God, that's what I do, like, every single day. <laughs> Sometimes it takes me an hour just to get inside of my building, you know? Just like, hello, do you know who I am? Hello. No. <laughs> so, yeah, sometimes it works and they go, oh my gosh, but I was just doing a, a phone call for someone today. They go, we'll call my friend and let her know she loves Ed and then call her and let her know that, you know, she needs to get here because the dimension's on. So I'm like, mm -hmm. so I answer her. She's like, hello. I'm like, um, greetings and salutations as no one is speaking. Um, could you please get to the con um, right now because um, your friend's waiting for you? And she's like, yeah, well, actually I actually have to get my uh, costume ready and so I'm like, going, are you registering here? She's like, and then, it was nothing, and he's like, oh my god, please hurry up to it, what would be there soon, why? I'm like, <laughs> and then, uh, and then uh, I was thinking that she's gonna go up to a friend and go, oh, she's like, what was that called? That was like the worst double D impression ever. <laughs> like, but yeah, sometimes it's fun doing it over the border when you're crossing over, you know, sometimes they ask, oh, when you got, you your voice out, who do you do, blah, 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 and they're like, <laughs> you may go, sir. <laughs> yes, go ahead. Okay, what was your most, okay, memorable and or awkward experience meeting fans? Oh. oh. <laughs> uh, memorable and or? Or, yeah. Memorable, memorable or most awkward. Wouldn't that be memorable though? Yes, exactly. Yeah. Awkward. Uh, awkward. I, you know, everybody's, everybody's been really nice. I Sometimes I've met people who are so nervous that they make me nervous. So then they're like, hey, 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 what's going on? And they're like, and then, because I'm like, you know, so sometimes they're like, oh my God, what's going on? What, what, what's going on? It's you, you, you! I'm like, yes, I know. <laughs> Are you, you? She's like, yeah. Okay, so we're good here, right? <laughs> no, but no, overall, it's just like, yeah, most of the time it's just fun. So no stalkers or anything? Uh, no, I'm not yet. Not yet. Why are you in there? Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> no. Sunvincent.com. Yeah. Just saying, talk <laughs> stuff. <laughs> um, no, it's been pretty good so far. So, it's been great. It's been great. Um, uh, oh, oh, that we were streaming. We're doing a oh, green, 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 green hat. You didn't go a green suit with green. What do you guys call these things here? Beanies. Beanies, really? Okay. Okay. <laughs> well, we've got the green hats, but we call them like twins or something on Canada. So, beanies, okay. okay. So, what are your thoughts on the theory that Ed, Ed, and Eddie takes place in purgatory? Oh, is this like a lost thing or something? Yeah. yeah. So, it's like, it's between heaven and hell as well, kids are from like different centuries. Yeah, they all die. Yeah. Oh, okay. I, that's, uh, that's an interesting theory. There's no adults. Um, yeah. well, what, can I just ask one question? What would Double D be doing in purgatory? <laughs> what did he ever do in his I mean, he's, he's going straight to heaven, man. There's no question about it. What did he ever do? Now, Ed, yes, maybe, you know, for, you know, a few chickens, maybe, I don't know. <laughs> if 
and Eddie's, you know, there's no doubt why he's there, but, no. Eddie's already got one foot in hell. No, no. you know what, that's a cool, uh, I, I actually heard that from another uh, fan who talked about that idea, because it kind of was out there, people were talking about it. I think that's a kind of fun way of looking at it. But it's hard to know exactly what was going on in the mind of Danny when he created all this. You know, he tells me, if I remember correctly, that he just said, yeah, so I just, you know, I drew up these three pictures of these three guys, and then I think he had a little tag, like, it was something like childhood is, no, it wasn't his hell, or it was something like, just, it was like one tag, these three characters that he drew, and he sent it off to Cartoon Network, and Network, and they were intrigued by it. They were like, yeah, let's talk. You know, so it, was like, it wasn't like some compl- I don't think it was some complicated, you know, story bible and all this. It was like this picture and a little tag, and they were like, hmm, tell us more about these, you know, kids. So anyway, I don't know. Um, okay, yes, I just got a scan, scan for faces that we have not seen yet. You sir, you're here. All right, we we've heard a little bit about Matt's like personal heroes. Sam, what are some of your personal heroes? Like people that you look up to. He looks up in the room. <laughs> in a row. <laughs> <laughs> and he's gone on me. Ah, pushing the road. Um. Hmm. A a u a e a u a e a o. Um. I really, I guess, when I was younger. Oh. Okay. I'll I'll, I'll say in in the creative s- s- field. I have to say that I've always had a fondness for Jim Henson uh, and what he brought to the world with his creation. So, um, yeah, love, love, the, love the Muppet Show, love, uh, you know, everything Sesame Street, all that stuff. And also, with that, you know, Jim Henson, you know, he wouldn't have done half of what he did without Frank Oz, he put him in there as well. And then obviously, back when George Lucas marked the room bird. No, uh, back when I was, I, I really admired uh, what George Lucas did as when I was growing up, for what he created. Um, like that, in, in the creative sphere, that's kind of like people. And then, uh, in, in when I, I'm inspired by people, basically, who have the ability to overcome adversity and, and still strive to uh, be happy when things around them are falling apart and they somehow manage to stay positive and, 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 and do good in this world. And I think that's, there's a lot of people in the world who are going through very difficult things and they still manage to be decent, you know? And that's, that, those people are my role models, like on a other thing now, so there it is. That's my answer. You, sir? Oh, you are, you are, we know all about the role models. Yeah. Yeah, really. Yeah, I think, you know. Yeah. I mean, well, it's so funny because I think that's that's why Sammy and I are, are you know, great friends beyond the studio because I think we have a very, um, well, one, we have a very unique setup in Vancouver, especially, where we all kind of grow, growing up together doing voices, but also I think realizing how blessed we are with the life that we get to do. Um, and then also the gift of then seeing how it affects others, you know? I mean, I was really blessed, like I was saying, I always, I always just knew I was grateful for what I get to do for my business. You know, I'm like, oh my God, I get to do this, and I get paid, and then I get to do it again. Um, but I never thought beyond that, except for knowing that, you know, I would always try to do the best job I could do. But when I got to do um, my run tour around the States and Canada, um, and meeting like thousands and thousands of, of kids that were fans of, you know, especially Ed, Ed, and Eddie, and you know, and the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, um, and then now subsequently saying yes to coming to lots of conventions, and you know, meeting face to face and having like a truly human experience, um, and and seeing that wow, man, like you know, like you know, somebody saying like from their heart, you know, thank you for your character that literally helped me get through my dad passing away when I was a kid or my mom's going through cancer for the third time or, you know, um, you know, one one kid came up to me just, um, not not this one, but at Brony Fest in, in Dallas, you know, and it was like, it, it, it was, it really affected me because he said he'd been labeled so many things as a, as a kid 
that he said he could have turned out the baddest, baddest label. And he got all this stuff figured out, and he said, I just want to thank you because it was Ed, Ed and Eddie, and watching that show and realizing that these three misfits belonged. And he identified with it. And I was just like, what do you say to that? You know what I mean? Going in my, I'm just like, dude, <laughs> thank you, you know? Um, so that's why I say, like, you're all very powerful. We're all very, very blessed to be able to not only having this moment together. Um, so don't ever think that you're not powerful with what you can put out there in the world as well. You know what I'm talking about? Okay, so shine your lights bright. <laughs> And, uh, you know, it's just an honor to be here, so thanks. Seriously, I mean, it doesn't mean you don't gotta work. Like, you gotta invest, right? Invest, 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 but make sure, just have fun. Because, you know, as we know, it's like 20 years later, if you're not having fun, then it ain't gonna be any fun. So, you know, double up on the have fun. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, we're gonna do, uh, so is there any people that are gonna be on? Uh, no. uh, this, this gentleman here did not ask a question. Go for it. Oh, man. 
Well, I kind of did one, yeah, but already. Um, Let's go over the other story. Yeah, you did. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Come on, son. Get out of here. That's kind of out of party. Come on. Out of and Eddie was always very loud, wasn't he? Yeah. 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 Oh, sorry. Thought he was scared me. Okay. <laughs> Sir, in the red shirt. It's not much of a question, but uh, coming from a house that wasn't easy to grow up in, military-wise, Ed, Ed and Eddie was a show that I had to often watch in secret because my mother and my stepfather just didn't approve whatsoever at all. I got labeled as one of the biggest, and I use this term affectionately, dorks in all of my school, and I just have to say thank you to the biggest dorks and the best <laughs> Well, you know, you know what Eddie would say, though. Sit down, you dork! <laughs> dork and proud. Well, that's right. But Eddie's like, Eddie was the biggest dork of them all. He just didn't, he, he was in denial about it. No, <laughs> what the dork? You're drawing chest hair on your chest. <laughs> nice. Yeah. <laughs> you were probably like, oh, you want chest hair? You really have some of mine. <laughs> And I'd be like, hmm, fascinating. Your hormone levels are out of the chart, eh? Sorry. Yeah, I think I would just say, like, oh, thank you. <laughs> yes. Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you, everybody. All right, guys, let's go. Let's go.